Firefighters from across the country are in Salmon the next few weeks to train for wildland firefighter and repel training. Eyewitness News 3's Seth Ratliff shows us what it takes to be a firefighter from the air. Some of the best firefighters in the country are in the Salmon Chalice National Forest this month to train for one of the most intense jobs in the world. There's definitely some anxiety. You know, that buzzer goes off and some of the folks that have been doing it for a while are like, here we go. <laughs> You're hanging out at the base. Uh, maybe you just worked out. Maybe you just ate lunch and the buzzer goes off and you do the same thing every time. So you go get your gear on, go out to the helicopter, get loaded up. This week, the Hell Repellers focused on spotter immersion training a job that involves staying in the air, but is essential to combating fires on the ground. My job would be to work between the pilot and the firefighters, act as the initial uh, contact and uh, person arriving on scene on a fire to provide a size up to the dispatch center to coordinate and work out a fire plan with my firefighters in the back. Spotters like Jeremy Alexander are the pilot and repeller's eyes and ears in the air. A spotter will move throughout the helicopter assessing the fire on the ground and directing the pilot towards an area for his jumpers to drop in. The pilot can't see, he can only see or they can only see out the windows and can't see straight down. And so that's the position or that's the, the gap in vision that the spotter tries to help fill in. And in the coming weeks, 171 veteran repellers and 80 rookies from across the country will learn the ropes so one day they can drop in and assist on blazes all over the nation. Students at Salmon Air Base work in helicopter simulations, classroom mock-ups, and high tower repelling before they try out the real thing. This training resets them for every year, um, so this is the stepping stone to getting back out and being active through the season. The Daredevils tell us the experience is a lot of fun, and they wouldn't do it if they didn't enjoy it. And when it's actually time to fight a fire, what they learned in training is at the forefront of their minds. You're going through a process, you're, you've learned a procedure, and you just compartmentalize all of the firefighting elements and all the risk for a second and just do what you've been trained to do. So it's, it's honestly pretty similar whether or not I'm stepping out on a proficiency repel or on a fire. In Salmon, I'm Seth Ratliff reporting.